a big day today, uh, if not a change of scenery, so a, a bit of a change in me at least. I am actually dressed, so that's nice, no PJs today. Uh, when I made my first video for the introduction, I ended up with a lot of with a lot of material, because I think I was talking for like two hours straight. Um, well, maybe I was talking for one hour straight, but uh, the other hour was just a lot of uh, 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 and, and long stretches of me going bonkers about how, <laughs> how bad I was. <laughs> but, um, but there were still some glimpses in there that I actually liked, so just have a look at the clips. I am a storyteller. I like telling stories, I like listening to stories, I like meeting people, getting to know people, hearing their stories. While I was still working, I was an educator, I like to say. Um, I've gone to schools, obviously we all have, but I have also worked in schools. I have taught in schools, I have led schools, I have helped set up schools and I have helped improve schools. Uh, so, I would say that I have a very strong and vested interest in teaching and learning and most importantly I feel that I am passionate about the mechanisms behind how people learn. I thought I was going to tell you something about my hobbies. There's a website for people who have YouTube channels that they are trying to grow that is called YT Talk, YouTube Talk. And on there they said that you should introduce yourself so that people get to know you properly. I don't think that's possible in a couple of minutes, but anyway. They said that, um, you know, mention as much as possible about yourself, including hobbies, etc. So I'm just following the, I don't know, I'm just following the... Um, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Just following the format is what I'm trying to say. I'm just sticking with it, with the format. Um, which, funnily enough, when I went in to read what other people had written about it, it turned out that pretty much no one had followed the format. So, more of the fool I am. But then again, I did get quite a few comments saying that I had made a nice presentation. So, here we are. Anyway, um... My hobbies, uh, if we're not talking about the passion of work, because I've been fortunate to, to work with something that I've been passionate about and that has in some ways actually maybe been like a hobby, having your, your sort of your hobby for, for a job. Uh, it's quite wonderful, also quite dangerous because it means that you don't ever stop working because it's too much fun. And never stop working your body doesn't get rest and then you might get even <laughs> the English teacher in me can't resist you would get even worse -er than you would have to be otherwise so important to remember take it easy boys and girls we want to we don't want to get worse and worse -er than we have to be I love crafts I love knitting crochet painting um, clay work, woodwork, you name it. Anything which is about using my hands to create things, I really love. Um, also used to really enjoy cooking and baking, which I don't get to do these days because I can't really access my kitchen. In fact, I can't technically get out of my own room properly uh, without problems. I'm thinking that it is quite possible that uh, I might make a couple of videos in the future about some of my crafts uh, as well because it's part of who I am and what I do and some of it is fascinating uh, for people who are into crafts obviously <laughs> otherwise it might be very boring. Yeah I like music and as well especially singing. Uh, unfortunately uh, my uh, non-existent immune system seems to leave me with a more or less constantly blocked nose um, which isn't very conducive to singing, I'm afraid. But I still like it and I do it. And uh, I've got a karaoke app, which makes all the songs you make sound very funny because it's like all of them are are sung inside a tin can or something with the weirdest echoes going on. But it's actually still quite a lot of fun. So I actually included in, in one of my uh, in one of the videos I have posted. 
uh, I actually used a snippet of a song where I am singing uh, from this karaoke app. I like no love, 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 love. I love animals very much, and especially my dog Bella, who runs her own YouTube channel. She's got two videos of her own right now on my channel, and um, she tends to get her head in at least somewhere in most of my videos anyway, because this pillow talk thingy where I'm talking to a camera in the middle of the night on my own. She thinks that is the stupidest game in the world and she does everything she can to stop me from doing it. Um, tonight she's with my daughter uh, upstairs so that I won't get a chance to do this on my own. But normally she's uh, saying, stop it. <laughs> you suck, let me do it instead. I'll do a much better program than you can. Um, that's pets for you. They, they tend to be a bit... Uh, sensitive sometimes but we love them anyway because uh, we all suffer from the Stockholm syndrome I suppose oh and kids kids are just wonderful uh, I have five on my own and I have a grandson who is now four years old and he is the light of my day um, he really is um, so much fun so much fun uh, my best friend, you, he, we, we, we're best mates, we really are, this little boy and me. Um, he's on holiday at the moment and I really miss him. Uh, this place is so quiet when he's away and no one coming through the door saying Mumu, which is Swedish for uh, grandmother. Travel, last but not least, um, we're going to talk about hobbies. So stupid to say that travel is your hobby when you have rarely traveled. But the thing is, um, I would have loved to travel a lot more than I did, but I couldn't afford to. I didn't have that situation in life. Um, but I always thought that, you know, when my kids are older, we will go traveling. And I was looking forward to being able to take them, you know, one one on one and and maybe you know a group of us in different sort of occasions uh, to different places um, doing anything from hiking to camping to you know the more city breaks and and all these things because I think that basically every type of travel has its own charm and and uh, I love traveling I love exploring and, and, and discovering new places, new tastes, smells, sounds, people, everything about it. Um, but sadly I didn't get around to do too much of that. But you know, again, speaking of things that I feel I have left to do, travel is among them. So of course in starting a travel channel I will be taking myself out on more travel um, so that I can record it obviously but not just for that but because that also gives me a chance to experience it um, how much I don't know yet and um, I am going to be very generous in my interpretation of what travel means to say that actually especially with a disability sometimes travel might just be half a day going somewhere relatively local uh, to see something that you haven't seen before or do something that you haven't done before those things that maybe some other people take for granted that they can do uh, that we can't necessarily uh, can most certainly count as travel for a spoonie Right, that was a little bit more about me. As strange as it sounds, just this me talking uh, on the camera for a few minutes tires me out, something fierce. So, a um, cup of tea and a nap is much needed right now. But first and foremost, as always, thank you very much for popping in to see me. Have a lovely day and don't forget I love you.